All right, and welcome everybody um, here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube in the future um, for our next deck here. So we're gonna go back to Grixis Discard. This is a deck that I played a whole lot uh, before uh, Ravnica Allegiance entered the format, and it was one of my very favorite decks uh, before Ravnica Allegiance. But um, the one thing that I've been saying about the deck that I one thing that I've been nervous about that I haven't really played it is because I'm worried about how there's just not like good enchantment removal in the deck and how, how important enchantments are in the format. Um, and so that's something that I've been really worried about with this deck. But like I said, I haven't actually played it. So that's just been like me being worried about it. But so what I was thinking today, like I wanted to play it because I like a lot of like what we have going on here. I really like the discard stuff, um, some sideboard counter magic. Uh, I like Thief of Sanity, Nicol Bolas, and Grath a whole lot. You know, like, we've been... I tried it, like, with the four-color discard to have Mortify in the deck. Um, but, uh... So, what I was thinking is, is... One, there's not as many enchantments around as, you know, maybe, like, two or three weeks ago because of people are, you know, more ready for enchantments. So, there is a little bit less enchantment stuff in the format in general. Um, and then two, even against the enchantment, like the main enchantment deck that we have to be worried about is like Turbo Fog. That's basically the, the main deck, like with Wilderness Reclamation, that kind of stuff. And so I was thinking about if we don't have enchantment removal, what if we just try some Unmoored Egos and just try to take all their Wilderness Reclamations, take their Nexus of Fates, to Fairies if they're a Teferi deck, you know, take whatever, Hydra Crisis. Um, so maybe that could, that could work. So I'm going to try some Unmoored Ego. Um, in the sideboard. It's not usually a card that I'm in love with, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So, so there we go. Um, going back to an old favorite, even though I've been kind of scared to since RNA came out, but today's the day that we're going to try some good old Grixis discard. Hey, Isa. Yeah, the, uh, this Crixus deck could work out, could work out. Why, why would we need at least three Unmoored Egos? Do we want to draw three Unmoored Egos? See, I don't think, I don't think it's a, so... Even though it'll be good in the matchup, I don't think it's going to be a must hit because I think Thief of Sandy, like, also just having a sideboard plan of, you know, discard spells, counter magic, and then Thief of Sandy is a really good uh, option as well. And so I think it's just kind of, it's like our backup plan to our main plan, which is Thief of Sandy plus uh, Hand Disruption. Well, there we go. I was going to say, so it looks like <laughs> what I was about to say was it looks like we're playing against Mono Blue. And, yep, there we go. It is Mono Blue. All right, we'll just keep both those Ritual Sets. One one will get countered. Hopefully the other one resolves. My program is laggy here. I, even had, I haven't even had the client on very long. But it sure looks like we're gonna need to do a client reset. So as long as there's no curious obsession, we can trade one for one for a bit. Um, you know, nothing, nothing too wrong with that. So, I think I want to just cast Vrassus Contempt on their turn. So they have to, like, so they have, like, a counter, you know, so they don't get to use this two mana. Alright, well, now I'll just, while they're tapped out, I'll just go ahead and cast it.
Um. So now this is the real problem. Curious Obsession gets them so many cards. That's the real problem. I think I just make... At least I can make Spell Pierce not really do anything. I can... I can kind of play around Spell Pierce not doing anything by just leading with Doom Whisperer. Next turn, Ritual of Soot. And so on. We can also draw... Well, our two-mana removal of, like, Lava Coil is not going to work too, too well now. That's good. Come on, just have dive down. Why don't they just have dive downs? Ugh. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Um, so you can just sacrifice Siren Storm Tamer for, for Thought Erasure. So Thought Erasure doesn't actually do anything, so might as well just play around Spell Pierce. Wow. Ugh. That was a tough one. Let's get this extra cry in, extra soot. Get duresses and negates. Lots of cheap interaction. Um, I guess disinformation campaign is going to be kind of slow. Maybe we just don't want campaign and discovery. Because we want to be just interacting as much as we can with all these other spells. Yeah. So this puts us at 59. Um, Thief of Sandy is, is okay. It can block and stuff, but, you know, it gets swept up by the sweepers. But I guess if, if my sweeper is actually resolving, that's probably good news. Um, so let's go and throw a Thief in here as well. Now, the next question is, do I want to play another Thief over one of these and Graths? Is my next question. And I think so. I think I want to just have my curve a little lower. So I'm going to take out one Angrath for another Thief. All right. Now, anything else? We want to play more Thiefs. Um, no. I think I'm going to stick with the two. Yeah, this is not an Ego matchup. Um, there's too many... Too many cards to name with Ego and everything. I like our opener. Opt Retort Spell Pierce. Alright, we'll take the Spell Pierce. We just coil this Terramander next turn. That thing is not a wizard. They better not draw a Dive Down or a Spell Pierce here. That was close. Probably just gets retorted.
Yeah, I was a little mad there for a second there too. Yeah, thinking that they drew um, a dive down. All right, uh, just cry the carnarian. So one, two, three, four. So yeah, cry would kill the Terramander. They they don't have the mana to adapt it right now, so let's use this one. All right, and they're down to two cards. One card and a random card. Go and play a land. All right, that's fine. <clears throat> Ooh, I love how they just adapted. So, uh, adapting there um, means it's less likely that they'll be able to counter the Ritual of Set. Like, I feel like they shouldn't have adapted or played the Siren Storm team, or like one of the two, because they may have drawn just drawn like Negate. Obviously, we drew the Negate, so we we're going to be perfect, but they may have just drawn a Negate. Um, And, you know, but they they kind of tapped out, though. Never seen water right, burn. Bring it home. Bring it home. Bring it home, Angrath. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> hey, Pedro. <Price. laughs> well, there you go. Hopefully, we're doing a little better. No fire. No steel. Um. All right, so we're on the draw now. Do I need more Thief of Sandys on the draw? <clears throat> the one thing, like, like I was saying, like the one thing I'm a little worried about by playing Thief is just all these Cry of the Carnariums and Ritual of Sets. You know, that's. You know, we have like all these sweepers that the Thief gets sweeped up in. Is that really so great for us? There is there is Judith in there also, so I could call it Jun Judith Priest. I, don't know, I could just call it Jun Midrange. I, I didn't really know exactly what to call it. I want to name it something kind of cool. The Mardu Angels deck we're going to be playing later is a, is a different one. It's a five. We're going to try a five O list that went a, a list that went five O with Mardu Angel. So I'm trying a different one. Play it above Doom Whisperer. Doom Whisperer is like so good at blocking though. Like when they have like their that Terramander, Thief can't can't block a Terramander. Or the other flyer. The four toughness flyer. No, I don't think I want to be spending turns casting Discovery really. I can't, I can't really spend early turns. Like maybe later on I can have Discovery, but early turns you gotta have interaction. Or I wanna have interaction. I, I like Thief more than Discovery. I want things that... Like, I just don't want to have the the air in the deck of just cards that, that don't do anything. Entrancing Melody would be a, a neat sideboard card. At least no curious obsession for us.
That's very good for us. Oh, I'm I sub sun. I'm I I'm not saying that the deck that we're going to be playing later is better than than my version of Mardu Angels. I just want to try a different version, you know, and try new cards and stuff. Sphinx of Foresight, huh? So I can either sit away the two st Storm Tamers, or I can contempt the Sphinx. I'm just going to contempt the Sphinx. If they're willing to tap out like that, that's probably telling me they don't really have counter magic. Nickel Bolas can eat up these Storm Tamers, or we can sit this next turn. Hey, Spanky getting that sub for the third month. Thanks, Spanky. First sub of the day. It still says 80. That was a good ritual of set. Um, the main differences are the two drop slot. Pay playing a lot more, a lot more two drops and um, and a Johnny. Victory! No curious obsession, no win. All right, want to know? Let's do this quick reset. Oh, I don't have Deckmaster up. I'm surprised nobody said that I didn't have Deckmaster up. But yeah, the game is kind of laggy there. Let's just try to reset it really quick, and I'll get Deckmaster running while we're doing this. Yeah, the new yeah, all the new decks are on Stream Decker. All of today's decks are up there. Daniel from Brazil. Hey Daniel. Dark Claw, hi. Yeah, so no immortal sun. Yep. It has different two drops like uh, Remodi Reveler and Direfully Daredevil. Hmm. All right, well, we will uh, keep this one. Oh. Like, why, why is the assumption that the ranked ladder has more competitive games than an event that you have to pay an entry fee and win prizes? Like, why, like the ranked ladder, you don't have to pay any entry fee. There's not much at stake, so why would the assumption be that that would be more competitive match? All right, we got Sultai. Let's see how we do against the new version of Sultai with our with our deck. This Cry of the Carnarium is looking pretty sweet. Alright, Jade Light, Jade Light, Llanowar Elf, Krasis, Carnage Tyrant. Uh, I want to take a Jade Light, but unfortunately I think I just have to take the Carnage Tyrant. I'm going to have Doom Whisperer that can block Carnage Tyrant. I can like, make them discard it with Angrath later. So next turn I Cry... I'm just going to take the Carnage Tyrant. It's going to be just a, a really difficult card for us to, to be able to beat. Grind to High Diamond, Mythic, and it's much more competitive than playing in these competitive events. That's very, yeah, very possible. Um, very possible. The, th the other thing is, since I play 
just a really wide variety of decks. I like having the decks have the the events and everything. Like when I'm playing, you know, like janky donation decks like our Smothering Tithe deck yesterday, I don't want to be playing that in Mythic, for example. And I just kind of like the, you know, I like the format. And I also like winning prizes. With ranked, you just don't win prizes. That's uh, that's a problem for me. I don't know. I don't. I don't like that. All right. So, unfortunately, this Jade Light was a four-three. We were really hoping they would get like one land and have the Cry of the Carnarium. <laughs> Um, did not find anything to do this turn. So next turn I play Doom Whisperer, I guess? Man, I kind of wish I would have just taken a Jade Light. With the, th with the uh, Thought Erasure. Ugh, Jade Light's so good. That's really bad for us. Yeah, we're dead. Jade lights are too big. All right, so needs to take a jade light with the with the uh, thought erasure. All right, let's get the extra ritual to sit in. Wonder if I want to get, like thief of sanity. What if I want to Thief of Sandy in this matchup? Hmm. If I go Thief of Sanity route, then I'm probably not campaigning. They were running hostage. I wouldn't I wouldn't expect them to have hostage taker in after sideboard. I expect them to have a lot more duresses and negates um, after sideboarding, which is why I may want to go thief route. May have to just go this route to go underneath Carnage Tyrant, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I need to cut some campaigns for Thief. I don't know if I like this plan or not, honestly. We'll kind of see if this plan works. I, I'm not sure if I like it. If I if I go full control full control route and um, going with the, the going with more sweepers, disinformation campaigns, maybe even negates and duress and stuff like that. If I go that route. We may kind of get eaten up by Carnage Tyrant. Um, I don't know. I need, need some more practice to kind of decide what to do. Correct. If you don't finish sideboarding the deck, we'll, you'll have the same deck as game one. 
you just won't submit any. If you don't submit a, a sideboarded game, a sideboarded deck, that's what, what will happen. Hydro Crisis is a problem. Three hostage taker, three thief. Grixis deck. Crisis just being a a three three next turn is tough. Yeah, so they would like so that's the good part about Thief. They want to draw that Crisis, but they can't leave it on top because otherwise I get the Crisis. Hmm. I can just disdainful stroke thief. Or sorry, not thief, but uh the crisis. The big problem is we're losing the race. So I need to find I wanna play Nicol Bolas here. But if I play Nicol Bolas, then I don't get to keep Disdainful Stroke open for a Krasis. No, when Krasis is on the stack, it has, like, the X adds to the two when it's on the stack. When you cast it. I'm just going to play this. You know, we're at 17. I want to just sit here and take a ton of damage. Oh, they don't even have... Oh, never mind. Yeah, they don't need black mana for Krasis. They need black mana for Duress, not for Krasis. All right, so... I droid Krasis is only two. Didn't have another land. So now the Krasis... Krasis on the battlefield is CMC2, and in their hand is CMC2, and the library is CMC2. But on the stack, when the X is, the X is different, so it would have CMC4 on the stack. Right now, Dispersal would be their choice of Branch Walker, Wild Growth Walker, or Hydroid Crisis if I... Um, cast that. Yeah, Finality as a board wipe was an option, but uh, with Finality not killing Wild Growth Walker and Finality meaning that I wouldn't be able to play the Nicol Bolas really until afterwards, it wasn't just something I wanted to do in particular. Yeah, Nicol Bolas is really good art. I really like the Nicol, Nicol Bolas. Our opponent may have gotten disconnected. We don't know. I had like the, the, just for a little bit, you know, like the disconnection stuff. Let's get those lands over there. Okay. Angrath can certainly work next turn. Angrath can kill the Krasis next turn. And I'll let my let my thief hit them. Oh right, finality adds the counters. Right, I forgot about I, I did kind of forget about that whenever I was considering the card really quickly. I was thinking the finality was gonna kill my Nikki B, but it wouldn't necessarily. Hedron Crab, what's going on? What's going on, Hedron Crab? What's going on? Down, da down, down, da down. So if you miss any of the replay, or if you miss any of the decks, 
you want to see any of the replays, make sure you follow along on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. This is really unfortunate. Our punk's not, not getting to do stuff. Ever seen water burn your crew? I'm taking the crisis so the thief can hit him. <laughs> A fair price. Hey, doing really good, jo Jojen Reed. Doing good. Hope you're doing good as as well. Hey, we're blur. Welcome everybody. Yeah, thief getting thief. That is some value. <laughs> We're thieving thieves. So yeah, I don't I don't know if the thief plan is really that good though. Especially that you know like they're playing Hydroid Crisis and their own thieves. And they just kinda can be more aggressive with like their all their uh, explore creatures. I think maybe I should just be disinformation campaigning and ritual of sitting. The, the thief of thieves. That's really unfortunate. Counts as a win in the record books, though, but that was going to be a, a good game there. So it was on its way to be, at least. Maybe our opponent had all black spells in hand with the no black mana and they got mad. Probably not. Probably just a connection issue that we've seen for the last few days here on Arena. Okay. Alright, we finally get to do our thing with the uh, disinformation campaign. We haven't seen that card yet. Thought Erasure and a bunch of stuff. I'm going to take their th Thought Erasure. They can't cast Thought Erasure. I guess that's a thing. I could take Hero. I also get to Coil Hero, but I guess... Because if I Coil Hero, then I don't have a Coil for both Seraphs. I only have a Coil for one Seraph. <clears throat> um, but they have to like discard some of these four drops whenever I'm playing Campaign. I'm going to take the Thought Erasure. I'll just keep the campaigns running. Thought Erasure is such an awesome card. And then next turn they play, like, Belhan is the card I don't want them to play next turn. I'd ra much rather them play Seraph. I want to be able to draw fifth land and be able to campaign plus coil. Hey, that's good. That campaign took two cards. It, was, it drew us a card and took two cards. Mind rot plus draw card. That's pretty nice. Ugh. Belhan was what I didn't want them to play.
Dang, we didn't draw another land. Wanted to wanted to be able to ask Kanta there with another land, but we didn't draw it. Love it. Um Search plus coil? If I go search plus coil, how worried about Seraph of the Scales should I be? Probably not too worried. Just a 4-3. We can kind of wait till they don't have cards in hand. We dispersal it. I'm not sure if... Not sure if I would say that the Crixus discard is more viable than four color. I don't know. It's no it fire, certainly has a lot better mana. No steel. Um, I think that the creature matchups are like not having Kaya's Wrath is like the big thing that's that's kind of rough, and then you know not having like Mortify also. Shiver my horns and hammer. So I was saving I was saving this for dispersal at the time. No fire. No steel. Give me this as Kanta back. Yeah, Angrath is pretty great. All right, how are we doing over here? Seven cards. Yeah. Seven cards, so I can keep on library and transform. And we'll just steal this. Thank you. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> A fair, A fair price. price. That's discovery, make a one one. Uh yep, I'll keep both of those. Nickel bolus, make a one one. And our deck's pretty good with your precinct one. So what our deck does, it just kind of ruins our opponent's hand. You know, like, they have, like, a good hand with, like, all these cards, and suddenly they don't have their Thought Erasure anymore. They had to discard both their Seraphs. They didn't even get to cast their Seraphs. And then just suddenly, they don't have anything. No lands, nothing. Hmm. I think captive audience is too expensive and too vulnerable. I don't like it. Seven mana is just so much. It's just too much. You have to have like a really dedicated control deck that's like ramping and lots of sweepers and stuff like that for captive audience. Don't really know what I want to do here. So we expect our opponent to have a lot more Thief of Sanities. Duresses, negates, stuff like that. Um, we need to be ready for that. We need to have more removal, likely. Yeah, Cry is really good against Hero and good against Thief of Sanity. So I, th I think I want an extra Cry or Soot or both. Maybe I just want both of these. I don't think I like Doom Whisperer as much. I think it's pretty easy for them to deal with Doom Whisperer. I don't want to rely on that. I'd rather just rely on Bolas Angrath. And then I'm going to trim one Discovery, I think. Is Treasure Map too slow in Mono Red? I think so. Kind of depends on what mono red deck you're talking about. Whether you're talking about, like, are you talking about like the sideboard of mono red aggro? That's something that I've seen quite a bit. Um, which, yeah, I, I actually don't, I don't like it really, really there. I think it's too slow. Um, if you're talking about in like a mono red mid range, um, then a treasure map could be worth it if you're going big with it. Hmm. 
Don't really care about the rest of those cards. When he lands, though, it's unfortunate that you know, Sertros Kanta is not going to be reliable for us with Mortify Deputy. So that's unfortunate. But just one land lets us cry away these things. Wasn't exactly the land I was looking for. They don't have much of a clock, though. Hmm. As draws go, that was a good one. That was a good one. Do I want a campaign? Nah, I'll just, just cast this thing. I am going to be campaigning and stuff before Search for Escanta. I'm going to be waiting on Search for Escanta because it's an, an important card. And I like campaigning before Nicol Bolas. I'd rather them mortify um, the campaign than the Nicol Bolas. Hey, what's up, James? Our opponent, unfortunately, did not mortify the campaign. But now that the Mortify is gone, our Search for Escanta should be pretty safe. Um, cause, you know, they can deputy it, but we got removal for deputy, so don't have to worry too much about that. And Search for Escanta can take over. Your Alright, that's Kanta, do your thing. Ooh, Nickel Bulls is good. No, I agree with you, Press Any, that Mortifying Campaign immediately is not necessary, but our, our, our the same opponent last game did that multiple times. To my surprise. Elegance in simplicity. You love batting things around, don't you? All right, so I can just, I think I'm just gonna flip the nickel ball list. Let's just transform this. I can I can minus three and kill the Dovin. But I don't think killing Dovin is really that important. I'm gonna just My draw some more cards. Is endless. And just kinda of draw two cards a turn. There's nothing like spectacular to get I back on, the on either side. Giants. Nothing that matters too much. Let's just draw lots of cards. I know what must be done. Ooh, I want that one. Yeah, 
Yeah, flip Nicol Bolas is usually game. Nicol Bolas is like... It's just so incredibly powerful. People don't... It's like the most powerful card that's not very commonly played. In my opinion. These contraptions have their uses. Oh, Dovin. Slightly annoying. Oh, slightly annoying Dovin. Never seen no fire, no steel. That's good. I was inspired by a good assault. All right, so you're steal Sarah for my freedom. <laughs> I have enough mana to do this, right? Yeah, perfect. All right, and then I'm going to attack Dovin and attack them. So Dovin's out here, and their stupid little one ones are out here, and then we'll flip Nicol Bolas and have Bolas kill the Sarah. So then we can get some more. We can get some one ones, and there we go. That was a cool turn, wasn't it, Hawkeye? Yeah, Nickel Bolas is cool. Oh man. Alright, lands to the graveyard. Let's look for more Nickel Boluses. There's, an, there's another one. Finally found one. <laughs> Is the resign button broken? No hey, fire, Eisen F. Hi, no Shin. Steel. Um, I think Grixis is not popular. Well, there's two things about Grixis. It's not good against enchantments. Um, that's something that I talked about earlier. That I'm I'm trying the no fire, uh, no the steel. approach of I'm gonna try like some unmoored ego against like the those those decks. But also, I think I think the the big thing that's holding Grixis back right now is is the soul tie matchup. I don't think the soul tie matchup is too good. As far as three color decks go, I think Sultai is, is favored against Grixis. And that's that's the matchup that you know, I haven't played this deck since RNA came out. I I was at a place uh, before RNA where I liked my Golgari matchup, but Sultai makes it even even harder with them having counter magic and Hydroid Crisis to refill their hand. Makes it even harder. So I don't know exactly what I want to do for the, the Sultai matchup. Yeah, but I think that's the the big thing is the rest of the matchups, honestly, I think Grixis kind of has the tools to beat basically everything else. But I think Sultai uh, just has has too many angles of attack and problems to kind of deal with. And yeah, the lack the lack of good sweepers is is a big part of that. Like if if Grixis had Kaya's Wrath, like if Kaya's Wrath was just black. Uh, that would certainly help. And speaking of soul time matchup, we'll kind of see how this goes. Hmm. 
Um... I haven't really played very much with her against Gruel Aggro, so I don't have very good, very well-informed thoughts about the deck. I would like to campaign here. It's kind of risky. Nah. I'm just going to let them have the mana. So they, if they play Vivian next turn, that's certainly bad for us. But I have the contempt, and so using using disinformation campaign here kind of digs us towards a land. Like hopefully between that and Ascanto, we can find a land. And I I love drawing the ritual of set. That's a really good draw. You be love it, creatures. love it. They vanish all the time. Really glad the opponent did not kill Ascanto. Uh, land. All right. Down to three cards. Now my my plan next turn is this turn is to contempt the Vraska. Um, so I have four in the graveyard right now. I want to flip this Ascanta as soon as possible. Please don't have Vivian. Very good. Cavalcade of Calamity. What's Cavalcade of Calamity? Calamity? What does that what does that card do? I do like brewing new decks, so I'm intrigued. Why is my pen always leaving? It's over here. Uh, oh, it's that card that hits them for one every time you have something small attack. Nicobolus. Gonna draw Boy, cards again. Always have an answer. Drawing cards is good. I could get like their um, their chupacabra and kill their branch walker, but we'll just draw some more cards. So this is this is the matchup that I just don't know what don't know exactly what you know. I don't have like a great game plan against that one. Certainly worked out. Ritual of Soot was really nice. I. Well, you know, last time I brought in the Thief of Sanity, and I'm not sure if that really worked out too well. Let's just kind of go big control again. Let's just go go with our fourth soot and force it over the cry. And you just go with this. I don't think Doom Whisper is too good. Maybe some negates or duress for like their ne negates or duress. Get like two duress in, and then this. I 
Yeah, let's go not Thief of Sandy route. I don't think I liked the Thief of Sandy route last time. Yeah, they'll get rid of cast down, but if they they could like last time they just had like a hydroid crisis that blocked the thief, and I couldn't get through, and you know they were gained you know a bunch of life with wild growth walker and just had bigger creatures on the ground, you know, and killing me with like branch walkers and wild growth walker while I had this like two two flyer that didn't do anything. I don't like it. This hand's certainly pretty good. Dubs Thought Erasure. Doesn't get a whole lot better than that. Yeah, Nickel Bolas is the workhorse in our deck for sure. Um, I mean, Bedevil's a fine card. Yeah, I'll just keep it. Four bolus. <sighs> Second crisis? Come on. I know I could have taken Contempt and had been safer with Nikki B, but we're just not not in the Nickel Bolas part of the game yet. So we've done a good job surveilling Lance the Graveyard. We've got three in there. Playing 25 also. I'm not playing 26. I'm, last time I played the deck, uh, I had 3 discovery, 26 land. I'm going 4 discovery, 25 land. Love the search for Escanta. Love to be able to flip that. <laughs> I would not say the <laughs> metagame is 50% soul tie. I'd say it's a lot, I'd say it's around 20% is what I would, if I would just, you know, kind of guess, I'd say around 20% soul tie. Maybe 25, but I wouldn't say more than 25. There's a lot of other decks. You know, I was kind of waiting to kill that thing because we had Ritual set that can, could clear things up. That one's fine. So, Nikki B just... Nikki B just like makes them discard like the the other card in their hand, and uh, then they contempt, contempt it. They of course have the two crises in their graveyard. They can folly back. It's 
So if I can't, it just kind of gives some more cards. It's a good one. Yeah, we we could have uh, something like entrancing. Yeah, we could have like entrancing melody in our sideboard. Honestly, maybe even main deck. If we want to steal some Krasi. Yeah, so they discarded contempt, so they may just be chilling with like two contempts. We don't know. No land drop? I think that was just no land drop. <sighs> Discarding Vraska Relic Seeker. Interesting. They just chilling with Carnage Tyrants in there? Yeah, that's a problem. Alright, that is a problem. Hope they don't have another... Like, we had to discard a card to Aldous Reborn, so I'm just, I'm just clearing my hand. But hoping they don't have another removal spell for this Nicol Bolas. Hope we get to flip this Nicol Bolas. Because that Bolas I would have gone and got... Uh, Vraska Relic Seeker. At least they don't get Frasca Relic Seeker. We just have to deal with a 2-3 and a 4-4. Four, because four. for them, Nicol Bolas is nothing more than a 4-4. Four, four. So that's, that's honestly pretty good for us, getting the Eldest Reborn off the battlefield. One, one mana short of activating Nicol Bolas. All right, Braska. My power is boundless. The dead shall serve me. I despise. I guess I shouldn't have let auto tap. Um. I'll be taking that. I shouldn't have let auto tap tap the Ascanta. Because I I just spend this treasure. Um, could have spent the treasure and activated it. Nickel Bull is having an identity crisis. <laughs> we just had like Spider Man meme there pointing at each other. Hey, what's up, Nerd Girl? Good you morning. You cannot stop me! My 
Justice is unmatched. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and Thought Erasure. Picks up Campaign. Captain Proud. All right, what do you want to contempt, opponent? All right, so that worked pretty well. I think I liked not having... Um... <laughs> Those emotes go pretty good together. Let's see. There we go. Um, that's a high five right there. <laughs> um, I think I like not having Thief of Sanity. So yeah, we can we can certainly beat Sol Soltai, um, but it's just not a it's not a great matchup. You know, it's it's one that we're probably like forty and forty sixty, um, but you know, like there's certainly games. You know, like we win probably forty percent of the time. That'd be my guess. Hey, it's me, Casey, with the Twitch Prime sub. That gets some hype in the channel. Thank you so much, Casey. Bumps us up to two subs on the day. This hand is still great. Yeah, casting a bunch of nickel boluses is where you want to be. Oh, it looks like sub number actually went down, just went down once at eight. Sweet Liberties. That's a good name. I like that one. Welcome to the channel, Sweet Liberties. Hope your Wednesday has been full of joy. And that is sub number three on the day. And I'll see if the sub number updates here. Hasn't yet, though. All right, what are you doing over here, opponent? Mountain? Ain't no mountain high enough. Islands and mountains don't really go that well together, do they? I like mountains and swamps and islands. All right, updated to be 80. Their hand is shockingly bad. Was not expecting this bad of a hand. Hmm. Hey, I have something that kills that. What a surprise. Kill that. I don't SF West. No, I don't anymore. Yeah, that was, that was some good times, but no, I don't work for SCG anymore. Alright, Bolus is good. I want to slam this bolus down or start campaigning. I think I want to get on this campaign trail. Chillin' in. Also getting a Twitch Prime sub in here. Awesome. Y'all are amazing. <laughs> that pun earned my sub, you filthy animal. <laughs> well, that was the goal. Alright, so it goes to 79 and 4 on the day. I guess it's Bolas time, even though double removal spell will take, take out Bolas. Not too much to really do about that. Wow. 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 Discarded Niv Mizzet. Like you'd rather just keep that shock in your hand right there. Like that, that shock's going to do more than that Niv Mizzet would, is going to do. It's got to be another Niv Mizzet in their hand, right? Where did it... No, 
it's not a dive down. Okay. Well, thanks, West. Yep. You still find me here each and every day. These sits and cries aren't really killing anything. I'm getting this did I uh I didn't use Ritual of Soot on uh Enigma Drake way back on turn three. Because you know we didn't have four mana yet, but looks like maybe I should have waited a turn and cast Ritual of Soot. We didn't know we would just draw another Ritual of Soot and kinda nothing else. Though. And our opponent wouldn't have more Enigma Drakes. Dang, they just have too many crackling drakes. Where's their Enigma Drakes? Well, this is taking a turn for the worst. Removal. Nope. We can kill the Phoenix with the Cry, but I don't have anything for the Drake. Alright, let's get Soot out of there. Do I want to go Thief in? I want to do Ego in. Do I want to go Thief in? If I have... Yeah, let's go Thief in. Thief, I guess, isn't really... Maybe Thief's not so good. Yeah, they could have ordered their spells a little differently and killed me that last turn, not even giving me another draw step. They'd, if they would have waited on their Gravitic Punch. Hmm. I guess Thief isn't so good against, like... Doesn't match up well against Drakes or anything. Yeah, and shock. So we'll just have a couple negates in. Two negate, two unmoored ego for those four sweepers. <laughs> oh, I need to kill myself with the untapped water grave to not concede. Now, I don't like Cry of the Carnarium. It only gets... You know, it can get Phoenix, but it doesn't really do anything else. I have Unmoored Ego for Phoenix. Um, and we have we have a decent amount of Exile stuff between Lava Coils and Grass's Contempts. Alright, I'm going to save the Discovery this time. I mean, I didn't have Discovery last time. I had Thought Erasure on turn 2. But I'm going to save it right here. I'm going to wait till after Campaign. So they have a Niv, Drake, Punch, Charter Course, Shock. They're only playing two Phoenix, okay. So they just have two Niv Mizzets total. Looks like three Enigma Drake, four Crackling Drake. No, four Enigma? Four Enigma.
I want to take the Scrackling Drake. Hmm. Um, I don't know if it's a budget list or not. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if, if they just, I guess, want to only play two Arclight Phoenix. So they, they need to draw a lot more lands for niv -Mizzet. You know, well, just... Okay, not a whole lot more. Just one more blue source now. But, you know, if they just tap out for niv -Mizzet, we can contempt it. They have had a lot of basic lands. That is true. Campaign doing its thing. Clear apart that hand. Oh, they discarded the shock this time. Oh, I don't. I guess I didn't really check for dive down. I'm not sure if they don't if they don't have dive down or not. I don't know. All right, so they shocked in there. But they didn't play Niv. I'm going to Discovery. Yeah, I guess we'll just lead there. If we're going to Discovery, let's just lead there. And then I think I'm going to play Nickel Bolas here. And make them discard Bolas. Sorry, make them discard with Bolas. I don't have much blue mana. shock they cannot kill Nicol Bolas. if their plan is just to cast this maximize velocity that doesn't kill Nicol Bolas either yeah that's fine you know we we're at 20 we can take a little bit of a hit them to draw a card. If I contempt, they get to draw a card. So I'm just going to use Nicol Bolas to kill the Niv. The next turn we can go go put Niv into play under our control. Jason Son. Being sub number five on the day. Thank you so much, Jason, Jason Son. So what is this? Every time we draw, it's a ping? Let's go double campaign. Cl clear the hand. I 
And I'll draw two cards. I, I think we're doing okay. Must be done. I'll wait on, um... I'll wait on getting Niv-Mizzet till next turn. <laughs> like how I said, I think we're doing okay when I have, like, seven cards in hand and my opponent has zero. Hey, Dr. Brew. Welcome. No, that's that's not an arena feature. That's that's this thing called Deckmaster, which was just made by like one one random guy um, who just made like this program that allows you to scroll over the cards and everything to be able to read them. It's really cool. All right, so we've got five subs on the day. So we'll be cracking a pack after this. It still says seventy nine there. Um, our opponent may not be four zero. Um, they don't match pairings exactly by record. No, it doesn't work in um, Magic Online. No, it doesn't work there. Only, uh, only Arena. Man, if we just had one more land, you know, Coil's awesome. Thought Razor Campaign, Discovery, awesome. You know, like, these are just all the good cards we want, but I don't want to keep the one lander. It's a little risky. Um, Another tap land? Do I risk, risk it here and try to get an untap land? I think so. Commander could have an audience on Arena. Um, that'll be tough, because I don't think you can bring in all the sets, like all of the old sets, all the old cards and everything. Sorry, sorry. So it had to be like standard Commander, uh, which is basically Brawl that we saw um, not work perfectly. Dubs, Crackling Drake, Phoenix, Niv. Take one of the Crackling Drakes. I'll keep that. It's kind of the problem with Disinformation Campaign is against the Arclight Phoenix deck. You know, Arclight Phoenix is a really easy card to discard. I'm hoping they don't draw the blue source. Okay, good. No blue source. So I, I basically don't want them uh, cantripping with the Crackling Drake. Oh, wow. They discarded Crackling Drake? Wow. That is very good for me. Uh, they had another Crackling Drake. So many Crackling Drakes. So, let's see. I'm just going to contempt the Crackling Drake right now. I If I if I play Angrath and Minus on the Enigma Drake and kill it, then the Crackling Drake kills my Enigma, kills my Angrath. If I play Angrath and tick up, a little worried that then they'd have enough power to kill Angrath. So, a little bit of a rough spot. Just going to kind of keep on doing the same thing. Next turn, Angrath can kill the Enigma Drake. Stop having a Drake every turn. Okay. Well, there we go. Nickel Bulls can block a Drake. That's good. I'm so glad they discarded Niv Mizzet. So, so glad they discarded Niv Mizzet. Why be a 
beast when I can be a god. Death means nothing. This me. is pretty cool. I'll take one of those. And just all their drakes. All right, that's the last crackling drake. I always have an answer. Bam, 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 bam. We'll contempt this one. We'll kill this one. I think this is going to be a 5 0. Looks like we got a 5 0 here. Yeah, pretty decent turn. Ugh. Nickel Bull is putting Nivmas into play is pretty unfair. Why wouldn't they cat kill the Niv? I guess because I just get Niv back. I don't know if they kill Niv, they could at least attack Nickel Bolas. This is our match. Maximum bully right now. Yeah, this, this game's just over. I don't really know exactly why our opponent hasn't picked up the cards yet. We don't have to worry about uh, just milling out too much here. We've still got 31 in hand. I have to go to discard. Uh, the Angrath is what did it. Fuel for the fires the Angrath is what did it. Occur. If I Angrath, I don't know. If I Angrath the Drake, I minus. I can just tick up. What do we got? Uh, 40 gems. Um, no, you know, two rares I already had. Uh, I, oh, I just realized it tells you the set at least. That's kind of cool. So that, this one was from Dominaria. That one was from M19. I never, I never noticed that they told you the set before. I didn't notice that one before. All right. And uh, speaking of five, we got to five subscribers during that game as well. Thank you all so much for that. So we're cracking open a pack for getting to five subscribers. So um, we're going to get a Rivals of Ixalan pack. I already have... Like, all the cards in Allegiance and Guilds and stuff like that. So, Rivals, I'm, I'm kind of trying to get some Storm the Vaults. Um, among other cards. Because so I feel like a Storm the Vault deck would be pretty cool to make. Twilight Prophet, that's a good one. Nice nice pack. Basically, getting Mythics is always good. Uh, mythics are, like, kind of the... When, once you get close to having like the collection like i'm getting pretty close now after playing for like four months like every day for four months here um mythics are the hardest thing to get now for me and so any mythic certainly good so good pack all right so grixis discard um talk about the deck here a little bit before moving on i i liked it quite a bit i'm still not I still don't know exactly what I want to do for the Soul Time matchup. That's the one. That's the one matchup that I think is kind of tough. We played against Soul Tide twice. We won one of them. The other one we probably would have lost. Um, but our opponent, we we lost game one, and we were doing okay in game two. Game two was really close. We were maybe even. A, we actually may have been a little bit ahead in game two, um, but it was really close. But then our opponent got disconnected, so we just won the match. So. Um, you know, so that's not really a great showing there. 
Um, but I think that's that's the one thing of trying to figure out exactly what you want to do. And I liked how I sideboarded the second one. Like we won game two pretty convincingly the second time. So I would kind of sideboard it the same uh, without Thief of Sanity there against Sultai. If you're playing against a Sultai person that's playing uh, Carnage Tyrants, you probably have to bring in Unmoored Ego. And I wonder if I'm even kind of supposed to bring in Unmoored Ego in that matchup anyway. Just just a name like Krasis. So they can't just keep looping Krasis's all the time and drawing so many cards with it. Um, you know, if I get some more practice in against that matchup, that's that's a card that I'll have my eye on. But with Carnage Tyrant, I just don't have... I, I'm not playing answers to Carnage Tyrant in this deck. Um because it's not super popular of a card. Um, how is the deck versus Burn? I think it's okay. We didn't play against Burn there, um, but it's it's okay. It's not like you're not favored against Burn, but you can certainly win. Um, you know, like you have discard and counter spells to kind of keep keep their uh, their hand low and be able to counter like their top decks and stuff the the main thing in that matchup is if you you need early nickel bolus and doom whisper you need these cards pretty early um to put pressure on them and so the game doesn't take millions of turns kind of thing um but you know that's those are the most important cards nickel bolus and doom whisper in that matchup okay so um if you're watching this later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, for those of you here in chat, my link to the YouTube channel is um, youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. We're doing a 12 hour stream whenever we get to 1500 YouTube followers. We're doing every 500 YouTube followers are doing a 12 hour stream and we're only like 50 ish followers away.